Okay, story time. So two years ago, I know this is a while ago and I'm bringing up old shit, but that's not the point. Stay with me. Two years ago, I was working at this um, entertainment company and I had my own desk and one of my coworkers, he was a temp and he became full time. So the agency he worked for sent him a box of brownies as a gift. These are not any ordinary brownies. These are fairy tale brownies, okay? A lot of people don't know about these brownies, but honestly, they're the best brownies you'll ever have in your life. And they're hard to get because you can't buy them in the store. You can only get them on, on the internet. And the only time I ever see fairy tale brownies is when someone gets hired full time and the agency sends them fairy tale brownies. So I've only had them twice in the past before this day. So when he got those fairy tale brownies, I was excited because they give you a lot. So he wasn't going to eat all those brownies. So he was like, yo, you want, you want a brownie? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want a brownie. So I already knew what kind of brownie I wanted because I've had these before. They're all delicious, but the best one is the cream cheese. So I snatched up that cream cheese with the quickness. So I tore that brownie up on it. I mean, I can't even describe it. I see why they call them fairy tale brownies because when you eat it, you're like, how is this even real? It's like a dream. It doesn't It doesn't even seem like it could be a real thing. That's how good it is. Now, ain't nobody paying me to say this. I'm speaking this from the heart. So at the end of the day, he still had brownies left. Obviously, these people in the office didn't know how special these brownies were because there were still some left. And, you know, people are like, oh, I'm watching my figure. No, ain't nobody got time for that. When you, they're worth the calories. So at the end of the day, he's like, I still have brownies left. I'm not going to eat all of these brownies. Do you want another one? I was like, hey. I want another one and it was another cream cheese brownie in the box i could not believe it so i snatched up that cream cheese brownie i really wanted to eat it in the moment but i was like no i'm gonna save this brownie till tomorrow because sweets i'm, I'm a sweets person in the morning i like to eat sweets sweets always taste better in the morning for me so i was like no i'm gonna save this brownie for the morning and i'm gonna eat it for breakfast with a cup of tea so i sat it on my desk left for the day now mind you i'm like the last person to leave at this point get back to work the next morning i was thinking about this brownie before i even got to work i was on the bus i was like oh i can't wait to get to work i'm gonna eat my brownie it's sitting there all nice on my desk all nice and moist and room temperature i was thinking about that brownie i got to work pulled out my chair went and got my cup of tea and when i sat down my brownie was gone my brownie was gone. I looked all over my desk. I looked in my desk. I was like, you know what? Maybe the cleaning person cleaned off my desk and they moved it. I looked in cups, drawers, underneath stuff. I looked in my bag. Now, I knew I left it on my desk, but I was like, you know what? I'm absent-minded sometimes. Let me look in my bag. It was not in my bag. I lost my mind. I was like, where is my brownie? My brownie's gone. People were coming into work at this point. So now I'm like, anybody see my brownie? Did somebody take the brownie off my desk? Somebody stole my brownie. Some Y'all better bring my brownie back. I was in there looking crazy because I'm at work. This is a professional place. But I'm like, somebody stole my brownie. And the guy that sat next to me who gave me the brownies, he still had brownies left after he gave me my brownie. He had like a little box and it still had like three brownies in it. So he goes over to his desk and he's like, hey, somebody stole my brownies too. They stole three of his brownies, all three of his brownies. Now, he wasn't as destroyed as I was because he's not greedy as I am. And he just... He don't appreciate those brownies the way I do. He just don't understand. But me, I was hurt and I was devastated because I knew I wasn't getting another one of those brownies no time soon because you can't just go down to the store and be like, yo, let me get a fairy tale brownie. They don't have those brownies in the store. You have to go online and buy them. And you can't just buy one brownie. You can't go on fairytalebrownies.com and be like, I'll take one brownie, check out. No, you have to buy them by like the dozen or the half a dozen. And these brownies ain't cheap, nor should they be cheap. They're worth every nickel because they're so delicious. But like six brownies is like $35, $40. And 12 brownies is like, I don't know, like $65. And let me just tell you, they're worth it. They're worth every penny. They're, they're a real gift. Like fairy tale brownies, they ain't just brownies. They're a gift. Like you gift somebody them fairy tale brownies and they're going to appreciate it. So anyway... 
I was so mad, I called security. Yes, I called security about my brownie. I know I was in work looking crazy. They like, this bitch really calling security about a brownie. I was like, security, somebody stole my brownie. And I asked the security guard, I was like, well, can you, can you look at the surveillance tapes and see if you can see somebody come over to my desk and take my brownie off of my desk? And he's like, well, there's no cameras in the workspaces because what you guys are working on is sensitive material, so they can't be picked up on the camera. So I'm like, well, there's cameras by the elevator. Go look and see if you see somebody eating a brownie by the elevator. And he's like, no, I didn't see anybody. He probably the one that took my brownie. But anyway, so I never found out who took my brownie. Fast forward two years, a couple of days ago, I, I was thinking about it. Because I'm the type of person that when that time of month starts coming around, little things start to bother me. And I even think about stuff that happened in the past and get mad all over again. I don't know, that's probably petty, but that's just me. And I was sitting there and all of a sudden my brownie popped up in my head. And I was like, man, I can't believe somebody stole my brownie. And I started getting furious all over again. I was so mad, I tweeted about it. I was like, I, I'm, I must be PMSing because I'm pissed off right now about how two years ago somebody stole my brownie off my desk and somebody responded and was like you know what I'm pissed off for you because I'll be mad too if somebody stole my brownie I was like no you would be really mad if somebody stole your fairy tale brownie because it was a fairy tale brownie that's not a regular brownie that it's a fairy tale brownie it's, it's like a unicorn you ain't never you ain't never gonna see a unicorn in this lifetime and you ain't never gonna have a brownie like a fairy tale brownie in this lifetime that's the only kind of brownie there is it's fairy tale brownies or nothing so i was like yeah you you would really be mad if somebody had stole your fairy tale brownie and i added fairy tale brownies so a couple of days later he tweeted me back like hey did you ever find out who stole your brownie and i was like no i never found out who stole my brownie and i'm still mad because that was the best brownie i've ever had in my entire life and they were like nobody should have to live with the thought of having their brownie being stolen and I was like, you know what? You right. And they were like, should we send you some brownies? And I was like, y'all gonna send me some brownies? Look what I got today. Fairy tale brownies are so special that the other brownies don't count. They get brownies.com. Now there's like billions of brownies in the world, but only fairy tale brownies gets to use the URL brownies.com. That's how special fairy tale brownies are look at this again ain't nobody paying me to say this i just love these brownies so much that i'm doing a whole like 10 minute video about these brownies let me open up this box i'm so excited right now this is the big reveal they shipped it to me and everything look at this oh my god i'm so excited stealing brownies oh my god Stealing brownies is a major dessert offense. Here are some replacements for your favorite flavor. Cream cheese. Enjoy Brooklyn. Your friends at Fairy Tale Brownies. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Alyssa and everybody at Fairy Tale Brownies. I appreciate you guys so much and I'm so excited. And I'm so about to tear these brownies up. Your day just got sweeter. Yes, it did. Forget a day. My whole year just got sweeter. And my birthday is next month too. Oh my God. Oh look, they put like a little ice pack in there to keep it cool. Wow, y'all are so smart. Y'all thought of everything. Look. Oh snap. Wait a minute, let me take this box out. This is like making my entire day. Ooh, fairy tale brownies. Look at that. Mm, care instructions. Look, see, these brownies are so special. They come with instructions. Upon arrival, your treats are guaranteed to stay fresh and delicious for seven days on the counter. These might not last seven days. 30 days in the fridge and six months in the freezer. Let me show y'all what they look like. The cream cheese. I'm telling you, all of their brownies are delicious, but the cream cheese has my heart. Look at this. Look at how delicious they are. They sent me all cream cheese. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, they sent me so many. They sent me six brownies. Oh my God. Okay, I'm about to eat one. I'm hungry right now too, so it's gonna taste extra good. Let me open up this brownie. I'm not gonna rip it open. I'm gonna cut it neatly with these scissors. Because these brownies deserve respect. You don't go tearing open no fairy tale brownie. 
open it delicately. Mm, look at how moist it is. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look. Ooh. Snap. Snap. Look. Look at that. It's going down. Mmm. When I tell you, this brownie. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 It's so rich. Look at that. That's the cream cheese. Oh my God. Mmm. Hello, police. This can't be legal. It ain't even no weed in these brownies. But I'm about to be high off of these brownies. Oh my God. I know what I'm having for breakfast for the next six days. Well, five days. Maybe I'll give my mama one. Or two. I don't know. So she don't really care about brownies like, like I do. So I don't want to waste it on nobody that don't really care. You know what I mean? You got to care. You got to care to eat this brownie. You can't just be like, oh, it's the brownie. I'm going to... No. You got to care. It's special. Oh, God. Mmm. I wish I could share this with you. No, I don't. I don't want to share my, my brownie with you. But go to fairytalebrownies.com. Or go to brownies.com and get you some cream cheese brownies. You will not be disappointed. This is not an ad. Nobody paid me to say this. But this brownie is so good. It was worth me doing a video. Because I like to share what I like. So that other people can buy it. Because the things that I like, you know, the companies that I like, I want them to stay in business. So I can keep getting the stuff from them. So I can keep buying it. I keep getting the things that I love, but I can't keep them in business single-handedly. So, I want all y'all to go out there and buy these fairy tale brownies and all the other products that I endorse today on my page. Because none of them were ads. They were genuinely things that I like. Speaking of things that I like, that's my pillow of the Jeffersons. And you can get that at Carson's Corner. K-A-R-S-O-N-K-O-R-N-E-R. -E Carson Corner. Get you one. Love ya. Oh, I'm about to tear. I'll see y'all later.